guys, it's Lexi. Happy October. I am so excited to share this melting basket video with you. I'm going to be working on this basket from now until about mid-October and then I'm going to switch things up again. And I have had this melting basket pulled for months now. I've just been building anticipation on melting these things. And I'm really excited because not only is this basket going to be really fun and I think the theme's really cute, but it's also going to be really helpful because I am encouraging myself and kind of forcing myself here to continue to work on wax melts that are older and should be used up first. So the theme for this month or the first half of October is going to be vintage Halloween. So everything that you see in this basket are Halloween themed melts that are over a year old or almost a year old things that I really need to put an emphasis on working on first. So this has kind of been an ongoing trend that you've seen in a lot of my videos lately. I really try to make myself work on older stuff first, get it out of my collection, but I really do have high hopes because most of the vendors that I'm including in here have pretty good lasting power and shelf life, so I really shouldn't have any issues. Um, and then I do have myself kind of revisiting some vendors that um, either I did struggle a little bit with and I'm trying to see if maybe shelf life is good and maybe they have had some good cure time kind of a lot of testing going on. So there's some tried and trues and there's some things that I'm going to retest and kind of see where I'm at again. So it's an overall very helpful basket for me this month. I'm really looking forward to melting this. So without further ado, like I said, vintage Halloween. So a lot of older wax, but I also do want to start with saying some of this has um, a vintage feel to it too. Meaning I have the trick or treat like Halloween basket kind of things from like the McDonald's um, vintage back in the day trick or treat baskets. You know what I'm talking about. They're coming back again this year I saw, which is very exciting. But I have the little ghost, I have the witch, and I have the little pumpkin. And I picked these all up from Simo Wax Melts last year. In fact, this is 8-1-2021 on here for the pour date for these. And I put these away in my collection, um, didn't melt any of these, and I really wanted to, but they're too cute to melt, but I think it would be silly to hold on to these for longer than what I've already held on to them for, just because I'm starting to see a lot of color change, and even like the colors inside of these, um, you can lift the lid, and then there's actual like little candy inside of here, inside of these little pale wax melts the color is starting to kind of like leak out into them and um, they're just getting, they're getting older and wax is to melt, right? So I'm going to hopefully try and melt some of these. And the other thing is I really want to retest Simo for this year after I've been letting them sit for a while and see if maybe the cure has helped it a little bit um, and just kind of test that out. So I have pumpkin pecan waffle, hazelnut marshmallow fluff, I have Amish bread and candy corn buttercream, and this one is sweater weather and toasted marshmallow. So these three things, if you'd like to see them close up, um, I will link my SEMO haul when I picked these up last year, but they're all incredibly cute, and I just need to maybe just see how they are performing now and use them because they're not gonna last forever. Um, another thing from SEMO that I really think is so cute, and I almost don't wanna melt it, this is a little pumpkin guy and he is in the scent Autumn in Vermont, which I'm not sure if that's a single oil or what, but need to use it. And then I have a ton of Zape. So you guys know I love my Zape Halloween launches and I always go a little crazy. I went crazy this year, I went crazy last year. So I have some stuff that I need to work on. So let's start with some of that. So all of these Zape shapes are all the Halloween release from last year. So let's jump into it with Clown Carnival. A lot of these I only have like a small amount left of, so these would be easy to use up. This is Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn, Spiced Pumpkin, and Creamy Butternuts. Looking forward to this, looking forward to all these. I have Haunted Circus, only a little bit of this. It's Funnel Cake, Mac Apples, Candy Corn, and Fall Spices. We have Salem in a little witch's hat shape. And this is Clove, Cinnamon, Spice Cake, and Vanilla Buttercream. If you guys are curious too about um, some of my thoughts on these, you can watch my last year's October empties video. I have a ton of thoughts that I've already shared about these. Um, if you're looking for some of these, because I know 
During her release this year, there are definitely a lot of repeats and scents that are still available now. So you could watch the empties if you're curious and then follow up if you are looking forward to buying some. Um, this one here is Fright Night and Fright Night is sweet pumpkin, buttercream, nutmeg and cinnamon. This one is a all time favorite. I got two backup bags of it this year. This is Black Magic Chai which is spiced chai, creamy caramel, sweet candied apples, and Halloween pumpkins. I love that scent. This is Franken cake, which is banana nut bread, pumpkin streusel, and caramel drizzle. Trick or treat, and this is salted caramel, waffle cones, toasted marshmallow, and chocolate fudge. Monster mash, which is monster sweet potatoes, brown sugar, and a hint of fall spice. And finally from the Zape Shapes, unless I'm missing something, this is Kruger's Orchard. And it is apple cider donuts, Macintosh apple, and vanilla bean. So a lot of these are already chopped and ready to go, um, which I do still have to do a chop and chat. So depending on how much I'm able to use up of these pre-chopped slices, um, I will hopefully do that for you guys this month. I did find one more zape shape here, and this is Beetlejuice. I love the scent. I also have backups of this one. It's dried leaves, smoky bonfires, and sweet vanilla bean. This is like the perfect Halloween night scent. Two from Wolfwix here. I have zombie snacks, and this is pumpkin souffle, baked pretzels, and waffle cone. I love the little zombie label, the cutest labels I have. And then this is Salem. Salem is apple cider, cedarwood, cherry, and cotton candy. And I remember this one being a boomer last year. It was super strong, so I'm excited to see it this year. From Rainbow Melts, I have Elm Street, and I have this in like a mini souffle kind of thing and in a like melt cup. This is Palo Santo sugar cookies and marshmallow. Two from Midnight Daydream Wax Company is no longer in business, but I have Zombieland and a sample. This is Orchard Apples, Amber, Sandalwood, and Haunted Hayride. And I also have Haunted Pumpkin Patch, which is Dragon's Blood and Pumpkin Patch. Looking forward to these because I love his wax. I wish you would come back. Then I have Candles by Victoria, and this one is in Cider Web. One from the pharmacist's daughter, I have Spellbound. This is pumpkin eggnog, vanilla custard, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. And I also have one scent from Teddy Bees. I believe this is my only thing from Teddy Bees, possibly. This uh, month, I have Witches Be Crazy. I love this scent. I'm so excited to melt this. This is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. I probably won't finish this all this month, but... I think this one has some really good lasting power anyway. Three from Rose Girls, I have Carbs with Ghoul Friends. I have Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I have Espresso, Dunk My Donut, Cup of Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I have three cents here from L3 Waxy Wonders. I have Season of the Witch, which I believe is an apples and leaves blend from her, mixed with Cranberry Sweater Weather and a loaf. I also have Today's October 3rd which is Palo Santo Toasted Marlow Sugar Cookie Royale. Looking forward to that. And this one is Season of the Witch just by itself, which like I said, apple and leaves blend. Three things from Scentsy. I have Halloween Town I'd like to work on. Ghostly Greetings I'd like to work on a little bit of this. And Scary Good I'd also like to work on a little bit of this. I found four more sun shots from Midnight Daydream. I have Extraterrestrial, which is Alien and Intrigue, which is, um, Intrigue is like one of my all-time favorite, favorite scents from Harrison. It is a dupe for some type of cologne. I can't remember the name of it. I'll leave it if I can remember. Plus Alien, which is the perfume that I wear, and this is an amazing blend. Um, I have Haunted Mansion, which is ghostly vanilla with woodsy undertones. This is supposed to be like the scent when you go into the Haunted Mansion at Disney. I love it. Spot on. Then this one is Mulberry Eve, which is Mulberry and All Hallows Eve. And Scary Cherry. And Scary Cherry is cherries, chestnuts, and creamy nutmeg. I also have a ton of wax from Vintage Geek Scents. So last year I purchased a lot of her Halloween releases and I picked up like a lot of like the cult classics like the favorites and then I picked up a couple ones that just intrigued me um, all of these uh, poor dates are August 2nd 2021 and I did struggle last year when I melted some of these I remember so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these perform for me this year this is Elm Street which is a blend of pumpkin caramel pecan and marshmallow we have The Fog, and this is Sweet Dark Spices, Smoky Patchouli, Cedarwood, Violet, Cinnamon, and Clove. 
This one is Fiona the Supreme Witch Embeds with Sanderson Sister Overpour, which is a huge blend of different things. So it's cider cupcakes with cream cheese frosting, Granny Smith apples, waffle cone pieces, green apple, candy corn, caramel, and marshmallows. This one is Gale Weathers, and Gale Weathers is campfire, soft sandalwood, toasted marshmallow, and smoky vanilla. This is Craven, which is warm spices, sugared apples, and vanilla cream. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. This is pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting and hints of caramel, pecans, and marshmallows. We have Halloween H2O. Uh, I think is how you say it. And this one is delicious pumpkin and fragrant spices on a nutty vanilla base with slight woodsy base. And this one I remember really enjoying. This is Haddonfield, which is toasted marshmallow cake drizzled with red, blood red strawberries. So really looking forward to melting this one. Okay, guys, so I'm going to finish up this video with some Lured Apothecary from the Halloween sampler last year, things that I just didn't finish, and some of my British Creepy Treasures wax that was also part of her Halloween sampler, and then some were just like things that I purchased separately. So let's start with the Lurid. And if you guys watched my video last year, you, you'll probably see like all of these, I wanna say, are from that sampler. So I have, um, I won't do the scent notes of all of these, but I'll name them. I have Tombstone, I have Eye of Newt, I have Candy Smash, I have Zombie Crawl, The Craft, Toil and Trouble, Haunted, Happy Halloween, not Haunted Halloween, Happy Halloween, um, haunted Forest. This is Blood Bag and As Above. And if you guys are interested in the scent notes of all of those, then I'll definitely leave a link to the video where I did haul these and do first sniff impressions. Um, a lot of these I have already melted bits and pieces of, but didn't get around to finishing. So I'm either going to melt some more, see where the performance is at, um, either gift these to like my sister or my mom, or if I really enjoy them, finish them up. But I have um, quite a bit left to use up from that sampler. And it's a year old now. Oh, and I forgot Smashing Pumpkins is the last one from that sampler. So on to my Brita's. I will probably give you guys the scent notes because a lot of these um, weren't part of that sampler. So this is the Witch of Hampton, which is peach nectar and sweet pumpkin. This is Ohio State Reformery, which is cinnamon glazed baklava, hot apple pie, funnel cake, and vanilla ice cream. Area 51 is absinthe, mac apple, and fizzy pop. And I love the little shapes on this, like the poison bottles. It's really cute. This one is the boy in the bathtub, which is blueberry, blue sugar, yellow cake, and toasted marshmallow. And this has got like a little hocus pocus cauldron shape. I have Dead Children's Playground, which is Fruity Pebbles, Bite Me, and Sweet and Creamy. The very well-loved um, Exorcist scent, and the Exorcist is Palo Santo, Patchouli, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Then we have Baba Shook, which is another amazing scent. This is Patchouli, Sugar Cookie, Sweet and Creamy, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. If you like The Exorcist, but sometimes you feel like the patchouli in this is too overwhelming, then I definitely suggest trying Baba Shook because this is a sweeter blend of this, essentially. I have Secret Coven. Secret Coven is Nag Champa, Pumpkin Hollow, and Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Three more left. We have Crypt Keeper, which is Dragon's Blood Patchouli and Toasted Marshmallow. Switched, and Switched is Mac Apple Juicy Pear Patchouli and Marshmallow Bomb. And Annabelle, and Annabelle is Monster Delight, Nog Champa, and Roasted Pine Cones. So really looking forward to all of the patchouli this month and just looking forward to putting a good dent in some of these things that really need to be used up. I also am going to have an incredibly busy month for wedding photography. We've got like three weddings every weekend, like elopements and weddings. It's just absolutely insane. In upstate New York, people go crazy for like the fall foliage here because it turns and it is vibrant and beautiful. So everybody kind of packs um, like wanting photos into like a very short time frame for us. So. I literally have very <laughs> low expectations to like how much I'll be able to accomplish this month, honestly. 
but I want to set the base here because these are the things that I need to try to work on first. So that's the whole idea this month, vintage Halloween. I'm just really looking forward to it. If you guys are doing a fun theme for October, please let me know in the comments below. And I'm excited to share my thoughts when I finish all these or hopefully use up a lot. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.